small waterfalls helped set the stage for the first phase of the Industrial Revolution until the advent of the steam engine. The Manchester area would not have evolved into England's industrial heartland and England would not have won the competition with Holland's wool trade had the northwest not been so richly endowed with small rivers with a year-round even flow of water. In time, refinements to the water wheel reached the point where a single narrow jet of water was enough to power an entire spinning mill. It was water power which first, and on a large scale, replaced brawn and muscle in the manufacture of textiles towards the close of the 18th century. Thus the character of the rivers was important. The mills and factories needed a regularly flowing river, relatively free of mud and silt, and decent but not violent waterfalls. The textile industry depended both on cotton from Egypt and India and on the rivers of the Lancashire area. Nature had been benevolent in this part of England. In the Netherlands, there were no waterfalls. In China, the rivers were too violent and carried too much mud. In England, they provided the power for the initial phase of the most fundamental revolution the world has ever known, the Industrial Revolution. <laughs>